What's up, beautiful people? It is your hunger, but shameless. I'll up in your building with another tech talk. And this video is on 10 ways to declutter and organize your digital files. So I'm gonna break it down for you because guess what? You don't have to be a tech geek to get your life. We all operate on these and these. I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks, okay? Tip number one, organize your files and use hard drives. I live on these colorful hard drives. These are by Lacey and I have over 30 of them, if you would believe it or not. But what I love about them is I can store everything that's on my phone, that's on my laptop, on this. And what that basically allows me to do is take more photos, share more memories, and be a hoarder of ones and o's. Thankfully, Lacey sent me a few hard drives after all these years. They finally noticed somebody and gave us more because I love saving all my videos and all my photos. I like to back everything up. And a tip for you guys is at least have one source of where you back it up. So if you have valuable information or photos here or even on your laptop, I do suggest backing it up on here. You can use Time Machine with this. If you operate on an Apple, Time Machine allows you to back up your information or you can just do it manually. And the Lacy's are good for both PC and Apple users, so winning. And this is rubber, so when I drop it, which I do drop it, um, it doesn't affect anything. And if anything, it doesn't even really drop. Like, it just doesn't move anywhere. Unlike my phone that slips out of my slippery hand, okay? Tip number two, how do you organize your files is the question. And the answer is, numerically or alphabetically. I use dates when I work with the editors because they need to know what day I film certain things on, but my brain operates better uh, with names. So I'll have a folder that says trips and under the folder trips, I'll have the city name. So I'll have New Orleans, uh, Toronto, Chicago, Los Angeles. That's what I do for trips. That works for me. But if I work with a team, I have to have a more efficient way of organizing things. So dates works. Sometimes you can even combine the two using like a number one underscore or dash and the name of what's in the folder. So vacations. I do like to organize things in that sense. But pick your weapon of choice and stick to it. Stick to the system. Tip number three, organize your apps. Use a system and stick to it. I would say use the more frequently used apps on your homepage and work backwards. You can also alternatively create folders that host everything. And a super cute little thing that I just learned is the emoji folders where you just use the emojis to identify these blasted little icons. And that's super cute. Another system that I did, which I just like visuals, I organized my apps in color. So I had blues all together and I had greens and it kind of like bleeded into one another and it looked like a rainbow. And I really liked the system. The only thing that sucked about that was if they did an update and the app label changed, I was done. So that system didn't work out very long. But it was cute, it was super cute. Tip number four, maximize your phone storage. I have 160 gigabytes on my phone and yet I somehow managed to max that out. So if you ever come into a problem where your phone is getting full um, and you didn't have more storage built in, you can always upgrade. So if you are an iPhone user, you can upgrade with the cloud. 99 cents in the US will get you 50 gigs of space that you can store all your photos and your videos on. Alternatively, you can download Dropbox or Google Drive. I have Dropbox and Google Drive actually. I use them both and I really like Dropbox. Um, I have lots of video files that I have because I'm on YouTube. And if I need to download a video to post on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, it's super convenient with Dropbox. So we save the video files there and it downloads easily onto your phone. And once it's on your phone, you're good to go. So this is all actually helpful if you are working in a team setting as well. So if you have one team member in a different country, a different city, they can upload onto Dropbox. And then when you have your phone on you, you can download it once it finishes populating, depending on how large 
that file is. Google Drive, similar thing. I like Google Drive more for documents, less photos and video. I just find the interface kind of like messy and like, ah, I'm an accountant. But it's all a matter of preference. Um, but those are some options. And again, if it does get full, you can easily back up the information on this onto a hard drive. Speaking of, tip number five, back up the files. So with my phone, I back up on iCloud. I don't even do it, it does it on its own. And it was just telling me that my iCloud is full, almost full, look at that. So I should probably buy some more iCloud space. So you can back it up onto iCloud, you can back it up onto your laptop, use whichever one works for you. But this allows you to save your contacts, your apps, how your phone looks and operates because if you say break the screen or you drop it in toilet water, minus the P, uh, you can recover if it was backed up. And if you didn't back it up, then you're done. You gotta download all those apps all over again. You gotta find all those contacts. You're gonna have like an unknown number like messaging you, hey, are we on for dinner tonight? I'm like, who you? <gasps> who that though? Back up your files is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Tip number six, organize your photo album. This photo album has lots and lots of space that it takes up on your phone. Now, I highly recommend after you're done taking those 30 selfies of yourself that you tried to post on Instagram, delete them. You don't need them, get it out. Also, another tip is to organize them into albums. So sometimes when you download apps, it already creates an album for that. Uh, but create albums. So I have albums, Essence Fest, it has all the photos from Essence Fest in there. I have an album of my boo thing. I have an album of ideas, even like mood boards and inspiration. I have albums for that. I have albums for my food. I have albums of my OOTDs. <laughs> there are lots of albums. Um, but the key here is staying consistent. So whether that's organizing this once a week, once a month, um, it helps. And that way you can see what you don't need because more often than not, I have huge videos that I downloaded that take up so much space. And if I just took the time to look, I'd find it, I'd delete it, and I'd free up some space. Tip number seven, declutter your desktop. Now, the desktop is a beast. Some people act like, like this is like the most shameful place to be because it's just so messy. So I highly suggest organizing that bad boy into clean folders. You can even have like one folder on your desktop and then in that one folder you have a bunch of other ones. But when people are looking at my desktop, I low key feel embarrassed and super ashamed. So I'll just create a, a folder and dump everything in there. It's like, I feel like I'm, it's my messy bedroom and there's clothes everywhere. And I just sh shove everything into the closet. That's the quick fix. Then the more elaborate story of that is organizing what's in that one folder into multiple folders that we discussed earlier and having a naming system for that. Mm. Let's get into that messy room, shall we? Tip numero eight, clean out those folders. And by folders, I specifically mean the trash bin as well as your downloads. I can't even tell you, I need to take my own bloody advice. My downloads is a hot mess. Um, I download videos all the time and it, all it takes is a simple moment to go in there and delete, especially the trash bin. I'm like one of those people where I, I, I don't like deleting stuff because I'm afraid I'm gonna lose it and I didn't back it up. So that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. But do as I say, not as I do, which is delete your downloads and delete your trash bin after you have backed everything up. I bet you wanna know where I got that cute little desktop screensaver. <laughs> Hit me up on my DMs on Instagram, right over here, so I can send it to you for free. It's a cute little download that we created at, here at House of Shameless. Follow me at Maya's World. Follow us, House of Shameless. <gasps> Tip number nine, organize your files in the cloud. Now, what I really love about both Google Drive and Dropbox is I have access on both platforms. So if I'm away and someone wants to send me a file, they can upload it onto their Dropbox. And if I have access to it, I can use my phone. And on my computer, I love the Google Drive for the documents. And Google Drive is amazing because it has spreadsheets, it has documents, it has presentations, and it's all free. 
free, free, free. I used to pay for Microsoft Office, um, but with Microsoft Office, it lives on your computer. It doesn't live in the cloud. It can't be shared with anyone unless you send them an email. Um, and because I'm constantly traveling and I have people here that are working and to stay connected, we need to have access to files that live in the cloud. <laughs> but once they're living there, we've got to organize them. So Dropbox has access to your desktop. So it looks like a folder that lives there. And once that folder is there, you just need to organize it, whether you're using the number or alphabet system. Um, you can even use color coding for Google Drive or Dropbox. I do use the color, the, the left, the right click and then the change the color of the files, the ones that I like. Um, but use a system that works for you and stick to it. But those apps are clutch. You get the app for your phone and your desktop computer. You're welcome. Tip numero 10, organize your email, okay? That hot mess of an email box of yours needs some cleaning, needs some fixing. I, I get anxiety when my friends send me like a screenshot and it says like 1,000 emails unread. I'm like, are you kidding me? Why have you, you clicked it and opened it? So for me right now, I have six. Six that are unread. And that even gives me a little anxiety. I'm like, why, where are those six? And you know, sometimes you scroll and you're like, where are you, I can't find you. Also, you can use filters, you can use folders, you can use flag, you can use the star option, and that helps you, or me, find files. So, filters, I just learned about, super awesome. I would highly recommend the filters option. With the folders, we do have folders that I put, cause I get a lot of emails, I get tons of emails. So I do have folders for like, um, especially brands. So like I have a lot of hair companies that hit me up. So we just put all the hair emails into this one folder. Um, and then I'll go back and access it if I have like a hair video that I'm about to shoot and I, I wanna reach out and use like a weave, some braids, I'll go to that folder. But for the most part, I keep, I personally keep all my emails in my info box because I scroll a lot and if I don't see the email there, my brain forgets to go into all of these multiple folders, which is why I like the flag, the star, and the filter option. The folder option, that's for like future, down the line type of thinking, like one day I'll need this email and one day I'll open that folder when I need it. But for day to day, I like the flag, star, and filter options. Also, spam, 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 spam. How the heck did you find me? Um, when I get an email from an unsolicited PR company that sends me information that I find totally irrelevant, I'm not interested at all, and I didn't even sign up for it, I right away hit the unsubscribe button. And I have been in heated conversations a few times on Twitter because they don't listen to my unsubscribe and they keep sending me stuff. And I think it's like a violation of my privacy. How the heck did you get my email and now you're sending me all these emails that I didn't sign up for? So I like to unsubscribe right away. Um, I also have a spam folder. You have a spam folder. I do recommend checking it in case an important email somehow ended up in your spam folder. So check the spam folder. If there's no important information there, delete that ish take it out or if you get email that is spam and they don't have an unsubscribe button flag it as spam so you don't have to deal with it in your day-to-day -day and it goes straight to the spam folder and the only time you have to see it is when you're looking for the important email in the midst of all this spam and then you can um yeah go ahead and delete that bad boy and then go save the one that's like Here's a million dollars. It's like, why did you end up in the spam? <laughs> that concludes my 10 tips on how to declutter and organize your digital life. Let me know in the comments below what you guys do to organize. And if you do use these tips or maybe you're already hyper organized, take a screenshot of your apps and tweet me those screenshots at Maya's World so we can share inspiration on how you organize your phone. And I can low key be nosy and get some ideas and inspiration from you. So tweet me and use the hashtag tech talk so I can find you. Look who's back, look who's back. Jackie's back. Okay, make sure you guys subscribe so I can continue to feed her. <laughs> We're almost at a million, Jackie. We're almost at one million, yay! Turn the notifications on so you know when I upload a video. 
um, Tuesday evenings. Oh, and, 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 you might think this little setup is cute, but it's going to be even cuter once you get your shameless manifesto that keeps you inspired to be shameless and live out your dreams. Why, Jackie? Because I make you write out your dreams and make a promise to yourself and what are you willing to sacrifice? So, Jackie, you're going to fill this out and then you're going to put it right here. Okay? Like that? Does this look good? No, to, to the right? Well, you know, maybe here, higher? Oh no, you said left. You're like asymmetrical. Okay, I get it, I dig it. Okay. 